Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy and effective way to access APK files on your iOS device. Although APKs are made for Android, this clever method lets you download, open, and explore them right on your iPhone or iPad. Whether you're interested in how apps work or just want to experiment, this trick makes it possible. I've tested it myself and it works flawlessly. I'll guide you through each step, so even if you're not super tech savvy, you'll be able to follow along with ease, grab your device, and let's get started. Before we dive into the installation, there are a couple of quick settings we need to check to make sure everything works smoothly. First, head over to your device's settings, then tap on General. From there, go to Background App Refresh, and make sure it's set to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data. This will ensure the app can run properly in the background. Next, go back to the main settings screen and tap on Battery. Make sure Low Power Mode is turned off. This is important because it can interfere with how the app functions. Once you've taken care of these two quick adjustments, you're all set to move on to the installation. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's move forward. Open your browser and go to tweakoapp.com. This is a reliable platform that offers various modded and helpful tools. Use the search bar to look up APK Installer and select it from the list of results. You'll be taken to a detailed page with info like download stats and user reviews. Just hit the Download Now button and the download process will begin. The download usually only takes a few moments. If this is your first time using the site, there's one more step you'll need to complete. Don't worry, it's quick, simple, and completely free. You'll be redirected to a verification page where you'll be asked to install a few free apps from the App Store or Play Store. There will be a clear tutorial showing you exactly what to do. Once the verification is complete, the installation will start automatically. In my case, the setup finished without any issues, and as you can see, the app is now fully installed and ready to use. And that's it. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end. If this helped you out and everything's working fine, don't forget to